Information systems now pervade every area of our lives. We used to talk about the three R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic as the basic building blocks of knowledge. Now we have to uh, um, include in that um, e-literacy or e-skills, technology. To be technology illiterate is to um, cut yourself off from a huge area of knowledge and progress and development within a, a modern society. Unfortunately, many of the managers and senior managers in our organizations in Namibia and not just Namibia, in Africa and uh, um, in other parts of the world too, are illiterate about technology. So one of the things that we're doing at uh, Howard Popovich's Graduate School of Business is to begin to educate uh, managers about the potential and the importance of managing the technology within organizations. If they do not manage the technology, the technology will overrun them. Yeah? Technology will be uh, um, uh, uh, smuggled into their organizations without their knowing it. And, and totally overwhelm them. So the managers and, and, and leaders of organizations need to get control of the, the technology space. And one of the things, one of the key tools that we're using to help those managers to get control of that technology space is the whole idea of the IMBARC, Information Management Body of Knowledge. This is a framework, this is a tool that's designed to help managers understand the linkages between technology and business strategy. And this is a key, key linkage. Um, most people working in technology, never mind in the business, have no idea how to link technology to business strategy. They don't see the linkages and they don't understand how those linkages are made. The information management body, body of knowledge uh, teaches them how to see the, see the various stages. So if you have technology at one end, the way that technology is uh, uh, um, brought into the organization is through information systems, and this is our area of, of focus and, and uh, expertise. But then information systems feed and support business processes, and it's the business processes upon which the business runs and does its day-to-day -day activities. But these business processes are therefore linked to business benefits, and those business benefits are linked to the business strategy. Once you understand that map and the linkages between those, those, uh, uh, those stages, then you're in a position to understand how the technology supports the strategy and how it feeds through to that strategy and the, and the steps in between, and how strategy can dictate how technology will support and enhance the functioning of business.